left my heart in California I let it go deep into the blue I could be happy in California Hi everyone, it's Chrissy. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So in today's video, we're actually going to be building something that I don't usually build on the channel all too often. And that's actually going to be a community lot. And this community lot is going to be for my save file. So we're building it in Oasis Springs. And this is actually going to be a nightclub slash karaoke bar kind of thing. So it can technically function as either one of those lots. It fulfills all of the requirements for both of those lots. I believe you can also have it function as either a bar or a lounge as well. It like fulfills all of those requirements as well. But yeah, we're building a nightclub and karaoke bar in Oasis Springs for my save, like I said. And just before we get too further, like too much further into this voiceover, I do want to say that I'm recording this at like 1.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm really tired, so if I'm more rambly or all over the place than usual, that would be why. Also, I'm still kind of out of practice with making videos because I'm just now getting back into it after my like month or so break from making content. So yeah, doing voiceovers and stuff like that is definitely a learned skill. And it's something that you can forget how to do with time if you don't do it like regularly. So yeah, I'm still getting back into the swing of things and like trying to get comfortable in front of a microphone again. And then the third thing that I wanted to mention is the fact that it's really windy where I am right now. So if you guys hear anything in the background, like background noise, anything like that, then that would be the wind. I'm going to try and edit the voiceover and make sure that you can't hear anything. But if there's something that manages to slip through, then I'm really sorry. It's literally just nature being nature. As you guys will know, if you follow me over on Twitter or Instagram, you know that I live like halfway up a mountain as well, so it's super windy, like at the best of times. And also we're kind of in our almost like windy months where I live, so it's windy a lot of the time. So yeah, that's just something that I wanted to mention in case you could hear it in the voiceover. But yeah, so back to the build. Like I said, this is a community lot. It's a like bar slash nightclub thing at the bottom, like on the first floor. And then on the second floor, it's a like karaoke bar. So there's two bars, like two bar areas, I guess I should say. There's one downstairs for like technically the nightclub part of the build. And then there's one upstairs as well for the karaoke part of the build. And I thought that these two businesses or like these two things would be like run by the same people. So the overall style of like both of these parts, like the nightclub and the karaoke bar, the overall style of like the items that I use and everything like that is very similar. It's all this like, I guess kind of industrial sort of style. I don't really know what I was going for when I built this, if I'm being completely honest. I knew I wanted the, out the outside to... I don't know what my voice just did there with like trying to say outside. But anyway, so basically I wanted the outside to be this kind of Spanish slash Mediterranean style kind of thing that's very like prominent in like the Oasis Springs part of the world or like of the game. I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> but basically I wanted to go for this very Spanish-ish Spanish -ish kind of style. I don't know the exact style that I'm like trying to talk about. I don't know the exact word. I always get confused about whether something is like Spanish inspired or Mediterranean inspired. They're very similar. If you like Google it, a lot of like the same images will come up. So yeah, that's why I always say Spanish slash Mediterranean. But anyway, I digress. I'm just going off on a random tangent. But basically I wanted this to be a kind of more Spanish slash Mediterranean style on the outside. And then I wanted to go for a little bit more modern slash industrial on the inside because it is supposed to be a nightclub and a karaoke bar and stuff like that. So I wanted to kind of mesh the two styles together a little bit. So I actually ended up using a little bit more industrial items on the exterior as well. I used a lot of the courtyard oasis kit and then I also used a lot of the like new, what's the name, the industrial loft kit as well. I end up, ended up using that new window that we got. I ended up using the like 
ceiling vents that we got as well. I used a lot of those, especially downstairs in the nightclub. And yeah, so I just, I meshed those two styles together, kind of like maybe this was an older, maybe more historical building that was in this like Spanish Mediterranean style. And then they bought it and they kind of renovated it to have maybe the newer, like more industrial windows and, you know, stuff like that. Maybe they built onto it. So some of the brick parts that I end up adding that you'll see, maybe, you know, they added those parts onto the, like the original build, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I was going for, but it ended up working in the end. So yeah, I ended up really liking the way it turned out. I did like take it through a lot of different changes. You will notice that we're still working on the outside, which, you know, we're almost six minutes into the video and that's quite long, especially for a like community lot, because usually with community lots, you can't really do too much with the outside apart from the actual shell of the building, because, you know, you don't really have like a backyard to do. And Personally, I try not to go too overboard with landscaping on community lots unless it's like a park or something. So usually community lots will take me a lot like less time to do, especially the exteriors. But with this one, it actually took me so long, mostly because I wasn't exactly sure what I was trying to go for. But also because I like took this build through so many different changes. I changed stuff of it like so many times. I changed the windows up. Maybe like three or four times I messed around with the wallpapers and the colors and everything like that so much as well. So yeah, it did take me quite a while to get everything to kind of look the way I imagined it in my head. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I really love the karaoke bar especially. So like the upstairs is probably my favorite part of this build. But yeah, like I mentioned, I used a lot of the like Courtyard Oasis kit. I used that kit mostly for the exterior, for like some of like the doors, the archways, the tiling that I'm using, the columns and spandrels and stuff like that. And then I used the industrial kit for the industrial loft kit for, like I said, the windows, the vents, a few of the furniture items as well. I also used Journey to Batu, which is... It sounds like a really weird pack to use when you're building a nightclub. For some reason, a nightclub and a karaoke bar in Oasis Springs of all places. But a lot of those items are actually very industrial looking as well. So it worked really well with the kit and also with like the overall style that I was trying to go for. So I just decided to go all out with Journey to Batu and I used a few of the lights I used the bar from like from the pack as well the like rounded bar i used that downstairs i also ended up using the like round dining tables upstairs and yeah i just i used a few of those items i used a few of the lights as well like the standing lights because yeah it just i know it's supposed to look like space not really space themed but like star wars themed like outer space themed different planets stuff like that but if you take it out of context and if you just use it with other industrial items, a lot of those items look really industrial. So yeah, it worked really well with this, which I was kind of surprised to notice because I don't tend to take a really close look at any of the Journey to Batu items when I'm building a regular build. I mean, I know I've used the hanging lights from that pack a few times. I've used the tiling from that pack a few times and then the plants. But all of the other stuff like the shelving and like wall decorations and you know just random stuff like that like other lamps like standing lamps like table lamps all of that stuff I usually just ignore those items because they don't really tend to fit in to a lot of the builds that I do so actually finding one where they worked was really really nice. But yeah so something else that's not build related that I just remembered that I wanted to mention so yeah, because I'm kind of off, not off topic, but because I'm kind of out of practice with doing voiceovers and recording videos, I'm going to be off topic a lot in like this voiceover and any of the other ones that I end up doing within the next like probably month or so. But getting back to what I was trying to talk about is the fact that I'm actually also doing a giveaway. So I'm doing a giveaway in this video for one PC or Mac code for The Sims 4 Country Living. Yeah it's, yeah, it's Country Living. So 
Yeah, I'm giving away one code for country living and the way you can enter that giveaway is by leaving a comment down below. In the comment section, just leave me a comment, but make sure to include your Twitter or your Instagram handle in your comments so that if you do end up winning, I will be able to contact you. And then this giveaway will run until 10 a.m. Pacific time on Monday the 13th. So this video is probably going up on Thursday the 9th of September and the giveaway will be running until Monday the 13th. I will have all of this information down below in the description as well in case you just want to read it. But yeah, just leave me a comment. Make sure to include either your Twitter or your Instagram handle. And yeah, also if you want to support the channel a little bit extra, feel free to give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed already, also hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. Because I don't really have a set upload schedule, at least not at the moment. As I mentioned earlier, I'm kind of like just getting back into making content after being away for like a month. I did a whole community post about this when I decided that I was taking my break and I did like a little follow up one after it as well i'll leave both of those down below but basically i got a lot like really burnt out with the sims and i just couldn't create content so i took like a month off and i'm just now starting to slowly get back into creating content to making videos actually playing the game stuff like that so i'm still trying to take it slowly at the moment i think i'm just going to try and aim for like one video a week until I can do that like easily until I'm like I guess I want to say like ahead with content for like one video a week and then I'll like push it to like two videos a week or you know just increase stuff like that take it slowly because in the past whenever I decided to take a break and then come back I've always jumped in like feet first and just completely overwhelmed myself again so yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to take it slowly this time and make sure that the changes that I'm making, that they're actually sticking, if that makes sense. So yeah, we're not, I don't really have a set upload schedule at the moment, apart from like uploading once a week. And I'm going to try and do that maybe like midweek, so like Wednesdays, Thursdays, kind of where, where I'm going to aim to get it done. But you never know. If you do ever want to like stay up to date with like channel stuff, you know, when videos are coming out or just random life stuff, I do have a Twitter and Instagram that are always linked down below in the description. So if you don't follow me on those two platforms already, definitely go and do that if you know you want to stay up to date with me and what I'm just doing like like in real life as well as like channel updates and video updates and I also post a lot of like sneak peeks and stuff like that especially on Twitter I'll usually share like work in progresses or you know ask you guys what you think of an idea or do polls and stuff like that as well so yeah definitely go and check that out but yeah like I said I'm running a giveaway so the giveaway will go like I said until Monday the 13th and that's for cottage living now I know cottage living came out quite a while ago and I actually, I've had this code for a while now. I got it from the Game Changer program. So thank you to them for like giving me an extra code to give away. And yeah, I got, I've had this code for maybe like a month now. But because I haven't done like any videos in this month, like past month, I kind of haven't had a chance to just share it and actually do a giveaway with it. So yeah, that's why I'm a little bit behind on like the trend of giving away cottage living codes because... You know, the pack has been out for quite a while, but I'm sure there are still plenty of you guys that don't have it yet because it is an expansion. It is like $40, I think, in the US for an expansion. I don't know how much it is in other countries, but I think it's like $40 in the US. So it's not super cheap or anything like that. So yeah, I'm sure there are still some of you guys that don't have it. And if you don't have it, then feel free to enter the giveaway. It is unfortunately only for PC and Mac, like I said. So it won't work on consoles because apparently console co console codes work differently than PC and Mac codes. And it's just, it's a whole separate thing. So yeah, unfortunately it is only for PC and Mac. But yeah, if you want to go ahead and enter that, like I said, all of the information and stuff like that will be down in the description in case you like, like zoned out or like didn't catch any of the stuff that I was talking about earlier when I mentioned the giveaway. 
But yeah, I don't know. I know I know this voiceover has been such a mess. I just looked over and saw that I have been talking or like rambling for 15 minutes. And it's been a lot. I don't really remember half of the stuff that I said. So let's just get back to talking about the build, shall we? Otherwise, I will just sit here and talk out of my ass for like the next five minutes. So yeah, so back to the build. We've, we've actually finished with the downstairs nightclub. And we've moved on to the upstairs karaoke bar. And I actually did this trick where I used a couple of those Dream Home Decorator sectional sofas. And made these like little half moon shapes or like half circle shapes with them. And that looks so nice. I mean obviously they actually, they're actually functional so your sims can sit on the couches. They will work. But obviously I did put the tables in front of them and the sims won't actually use those tables. They're just decorative. They're not functional or anything like that. But the sims can use the other tables that I put around the room. Kind of like facing the stage with like regular dining chairs. That will work. So yeah, I just wanted to make it look like a kind of fancy karaoke bar. It's not something that... I don't know, it is kind of fancier. There's only one karaoke machine. There's a lot of like mood lighting and obviously the fancier tables and seating and stuff like that. So maybe this is where talent, talent scouts come to like maybe scout new talent or, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, I really love the way it turned out. I had so much fun building this, especially because it was a community lot. I don't know why I enjoyed building a community lot this much usually i don't enjoy it this much but this one in particular i just really really loved and yeah i love the way it turned out i loved using all of the like industrial items and just using items that i don't usually use i mean there are so many of the items that i ended up using like lights and just decorations and stuff like that that i don't use in my regular builds when i'm building a like normal like suburban family home so yeah, it was also it was a lot of fun experimenting with the new kit that we got. And also, I do want to mention, I did build this before we got the Spa Day Refresh. So I haven't been using any of the new Spa Day items in this, but I'm actually working on a Spa Day kind of centered build where I'm using a lot of the new items kind of themed around that pack. And that build should probably be up like next week. I'm working on it now, but like I said, I'm only trying to do like one video a week and trying to get a little bit ahead with content if that makes sense so yeah you guys will see that video next week I'll probably post pictures of it before then on Twitter or Instagram or stuff like that so yeah definitely go and check out my Twitter and Instagram that's linked down below but yeah we're almost at the end of this build so I think I'm just gonna wrap up my voice over here I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit extra and you're in a financial position to do so, then I also have the members join button down below that's right next to the subscribe button. And if you click on that, you can see all of the perks and fun things that members actually get access to. So yeah, definitely go ahead and check that out. But yeah, this build will be up on the gallery. It's already up there actually. And you can find it by searching for my gallery ID, which is ChrissyYT. Or you can follow the gallery link down below in the description to the online gallery website. And if you want to access the tray files, they will actually be up on the community tab for channel members. So yeah, that's the way you can access the tray files if you want to grab it that way. Otherwise, you can just grab it from the gallery, like I said. But yeah, I will have all of that information down below in the description as well. And yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the build. And I hope you're all having a great day and a great week so far. And I will talk to you in my very next video. Bye, everyone. On a bad day's lined up And I ain't gonna chase no rabbits You said it's not as bad as all that
Take it. 